In the new January Battle Pass, a relatively old ship with improved anti-aircraft systems appeared in modern warships. USS Long Beach. Let's take a closer look and see how good it is. Let's start with the main characteristics. USS Long Beach has 507,000 HP. The maximum speed is 21 knots. Maneuverability, 9.5 points. Let's move on to weapons. USS Long Beach has 4 missiles, 2 closed guns with the ability to fire at air targets, 3 grenade launchers, 1 torpedo, a helicopter, 2 RIM 66E closed air defenses, which in my opinion are simply an improved version of the MK26 from the second tier. And also 2 free slots for air defense. Let's start with rockets. Since there are 4 missiles and they are divided between 2 launch silos that fire 2 missiles each, you can create a unique combination using the recommended missiles. Scalp Naval Highcore X-51 Waverider Brahmos 2 Atmica YJ-21 DF-17 Orchamp As a grenade launcher, I would recommend the following options. Type 7264A FQF-6000 RPK-1V Roar 5 CAS Rock CAC PKXB Or its New Year's free version Fireworks Launcher The following torpedoes can be placed in the torpedo slot Type 93, Spearfish, Type 12 Or, if you are the luckiest owner of such torpedoes as Mark 45 Aster or UGSD Physic 2 Then the best option would be to install them In the helicopter slot You can put any heli that you have for air defense you can put the following options. Garpon Crotel R440 Type 730C JRNG6 Seawiz CRAM Or any laser air defense you have. Here is a small table with the best build for USS Long Beach. Let's move on to tactics. USS Long Beach is a cruiser with balanced characteristics. With 4 missiles and 3 grenade launchers, USS Long Beach is capable of leading or supporting an offensive. And thanks to its good anti-aircraft equipment, it is also capable of protecting its allies from air attacks. However, there is nothing stopping you from combining these missions to unlock the full potential of USS Long Beach. USS Long Beach, despite its age and appearance, which looks like a block of dirt from Minecraft was placed on the ship, is still capable of being effectively played in the right hands, providing not only fire and anti-aircraft support to allies, but also not allowing opponents to relax. And yet, you should be careful on it, because the high profile of this ship can play a cruel joke on you. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful for someone. Thanks for watching, and good luck in your naval battles.